Hello, Realm Walkers. I am Saratus Orbus, and I hope all is well with you. Inflection Games has released patch 0.1.3 for Nightingale, which releases a number of fixes and changes. I've put a link to the patch notes in the description below for those who wish to read them. Otherwise, let's get into it. The very first couple of fixes here are about progression blockers. It seems that some players were affected by a bug where Nelly Bly's Elder Jotun quest would block Ludivine St. Clair's quest. Which is a massive problem because St. Clair provides a questline required for that same Nelly Vly questline. So, yep. The next fix the list is one regarding bound puppeteers causing disconnects at the gloom side of power, which is part of the main questline. And I can't imagine how frustrating that must have been for players who experienced this, so thankfully that's been taken care of. In the next subcategory, they list a couple of art and visual fixes. The first being that quartz nodes no longer glow at night, which honestly I thought was kind of cool. And they should probably implement that with other gems, like rare ones. I don't know, something like that. The fix after that is regarding how sun rays interact with clouds and foliage and how it bleeds through in certain instances and cool. But better are these NPC fixes where they address certain creatures in desert spawning inside or under rocks. And I wonder if this also applies to vaults, because I hear that's kind of a problem there too. They also list a fix regarding questline branching, pretty much that contradictory options shouldn't pop up any longer. For example, if you killed a sun giant for his juice box, you wouldn't be able to turn in a questline that requires you trading the juice box for five tiny apples. Up next are a couple of fixes to certain resources. The one I'm more interested in is the carrots and delphinium one where they can finally be planted properly. That's freaking great. Oh, and one other fix about minor realm cards. Uh, specifically now, Forge, Quarry, and Alchemist minor cards actually give the bonus, which I'm sure tons of people are going to be happy about that. They've also listed here a miscellaneous fix where mini vaults can be reopened with available portals. Now onto the second half of this patch, game changes. Probably what's going to have uh, some of people really excited is that Reclaimed ingots and reclaimed lumber are being added back into the game. But it's like more of an overarching set of changes, which sees more balance with using the same materials to multiply an item's stats, which is, I think, really important. I mean, for example, the smoothbore shotgun takes three metal parts and one wooden part. And prior to the patch, you could use all the same metal to amp up your damage like a huge amount, way more than what's intended for its gear score which I definitely used, I'm not going to lie, I, I really enjoyed using it. It makes me sad that we can't keep doing it, but it's probably better to have this kind of balance in the first place, because changes like these push forward the idea of rounding out our tools and weapons rather than min-maxing them to oblivion. And also, reclaimed recipes now use five items, where before it only used two, I think. Four might be a better balance, but we'll see how things go. And for those of us hoarding boxes of hinges, we now can finally reclaim these things. Player characters also got a big change in the patch, and that's death chests being gone. I'm actually a bit surprised at this, considering that dropping inventory on death is pretty much a survival game staple, right? But this game's a little bit different, because there's different realms and different portals you go through, and you can lose access to that portal which means you can also lose access to your death chest. And that means you can lose hours of work, right? Some of the more combat-oriented folks should be happy with the second change as well, where ranged weapons now actually fire at the spot where you want them to hit if you're playing in third person. And that's got to be super annoying, not going to lie. I mean, I don't really play in third person, but this is important for people who do, because third person helps out with players who have motion sickness. And so having their gameplay be accurate and fun is a great thing. Finishing up the list are some user interface and user experience changes. There's something there about a harvesting symbol becoming normal between nodes, which is cool, but the seriously great change they've got here is that recipes now show base stats when you open them up. Having the recipe blank certainly bothers a whole lot of players, and seeing that information there without having to put in a single ingredient is awesome. So thank you, Inflection. Thank you for all the changes. Keep doing great work. Anyway, let me know what you think about these changes down in the comments below. Peace.